Good evening, Dr. Gary here from Health Care Practice Sales LLC. We are dental brokers and we sell dental practices. We've been doing this for 11 years now. We now have eight employees. We're in 16 states. Our email, our uh, website is dentalpracticeguide.com and our phone number is 201 663 we're very excited to have eight employees and four of them are, ac mar are marketing acquisition people to get more dental practices for sale and to assist the sellers in selling their uh, um, selling their practices. Uh, we love what we do and we're excited about it. The information we give you is for informational purposes, entertainment purposes. It is not legal or business advice. Speak to your professionals for that. Um, today's topic is attention sellers. What do you do when you have a non-compliant accountant? We're going through this right now. We try to give you information as it breaks. We have a big project going on. Ever since we started with this accountant, he has been difficult getting the information out to us. It is like so slow. He reassures us that we're gonna get the information, but he's so slow. And this sometimes can go on for months. This is crazy, but this is what we're up against. So I took a ride out there yesterday to try to talk to the sellers, because the sellers have an offer. We're still waiting for paper. We got some preliminary paperwork, but he never gives us the full package. It's like, what is going on here? Um, so we talked to the sellers trying to get to the bottom of it. First, you got to tell the seller, look, he works for you. It is his responsibility. We need documents. We need the uh, tax returns, procedure code analysis. Well, you'll do that, but uh, the, the profit loss, we need all the discretionary expenses. How is everybody paid? In what fashion are they paid? It, it's like, we need this information. And the accountant's been holding back. He gives us partial information. It's it's crazy. And it's been very, very difficult. We're trying to move along. Would have had this deal closed or very close to closing by now. But we have a non-compliant accountant. So we did some more research. We're sitting down with the sellers yesterday. And again, this is what I do. And with along with my accountants, we monitor the deal. We just don't introduce buyer and seller and meet you at the closing table or wait for a check to come in or commission, you've got to work the deal. You've got to find out what the problems are. You've got to be in the middle of it. You've got to watch every moving part, all the emails, all the issues. You've got to handle it. So we have an issue. So it turns out the accountant also had another client and that seller had five different letters of intent, five different offers. And each one wanted a different set of paperwork. And in the end, nobody bought the practice. So it is, I guess he got burned out from that. It wasn't this group, but he had another client. So he's supplying information, supplying information, getting all the documents to five different buyers. And they didn't close, they didn't go to closing. So we assume he must've got burned out after those five buyers. That's the only thing. And sometimes you've got to get into the middle of these things. You've got to find out why we're not getting the paperwork. It's frustrating for the buyers because they're not getting it and they can't just go and demand it. Um, we offered to go to his office and I'll send one of my accountants there. We'll just sit with them, whatever it takes to extract the information. Sometimes it's very difficult. And other times you've got to find the reason that the, the what's the holdup? What's the problem? And we discovered it yesterday. We had to drive a few hours just to get out there and sit with the sellers, but we found out the problem. So that's what we do. We are here to assist you, to help you, to work with you. And then I had one of my CPA accountants call this CPA, and sometimes they're talking on the same level. It, uh, it makes things a little easier. We are one of the few sellers, uh, brokers, um, that have CPAs on staff. So my CPAs went to talk to them. And uh, I think we're getting somewhere, 
but it was challenging and it's still challenging. So you've got to find out why the CPA is not giving the information. This rarely happens, by the way, because the CPAs are generally the most honorable, easy ones to work with, but he was holding back. And I think we're slowly making headway, but you've got to discover why they're holding back, what the issues are. And sometimes you can only do that by repeated times going back in again and again and again and speaking and talking and finding out. Because we have the CPA accountants, we're able to communicate on a different level. And I believe we're successful, but we've got to keep the pressure up. We will keep trying. We don't stop our efforts until five or 10 minutes after the closing. And even then after the closing, if there's problems that ensue, we're here to help the uh, seller with any issues that may occur. So we're excited to help you call us and a free consultation or practice evaluation always. Just give us a ring. We're available 363 days a year. We take off Christmas and Easter and uh, we're here to serve you, help you, and we enjoy what we're doing. Thank you now. Bye.